Hello, this video is going to show how we can perform code reviews in Jenkins using the LDRA tool suite. Now, the starting point, of course, is obtaining some source code. And here I've created a simple C project using NXP's S32 Design Studio. And I've got to check that this code builds. Now, it does. Originally, I wrote this code and made it compliant to MISRA C 2012. But now I want to see, can I modify it to make it compliant to the bar C 2018 standard? So let's go into Jenkins and let's create a new item here. I'm going to give it a particular name. It needs to be a freestyle project. And then I'm going to configure a pre-build command. So let's add in a build step to do an LDRA code review. Now, I need to paste in here the path to where my file is that defines effectively the list of source files I want to analyze. I just need to set that up to there, and that's looking good. So now all I need to do is to add a post build action, and the post build action is I want to publish the results. So that's good. Let's save that, and now let's start the first build. So now we just need to wait for this to complete the analysis. OK, so the analysis has finished. Let's take a look and see, is our code compliant? Well, of course, it wasn't written to be compliant to this standard, and so we have 333 violations. Well, let's take a look at some of these violations. Let's see what types of violations we have. And here we have the LDRA internal rules. And we can see this particular one, we have 95 instances of that. So let's take a look at this one and see, what is it? Well, let's go and take a look at any one here. And in this particular case, we can see, ah, contents not indented by two spaces. Well, that's going to be very easy to, to fix. So let's go into our source code and actually fix that. So let's go back to the uh, our code. And I can very simply go into here and I can do find replace. And I can place one, two, three by one, two and replace those. OK, let's do the same for these files as well. So we'll do replace all. And again, in all the, the source files. So we'll just do the, the .c files. And that's probably good enough. Let's go and save this. Again, let's check that it builds OK. It does. So now we can go back into Jenkins. And let's start another build. So now it should be starting build number two. And once again, we're going to just need to wait for this to complete. And then hopefully we'll be able to see the trend and hopefully we'll be able to see that the trend is going down as hopefully we've resolved a number of violations. Right, that's now uh, finished. And as we can see, we now have this trend and we can see the number of violations has gone down, which is which is good. So let's take a look at the, the, uh, the elder a violations now. And we're now reduced the number of violations. So let's go and see, can we fix some other violations? So in this particular case, let's take a look at this time details. And let's see what kind of violations we have. Well, nested files found, OK, variable name not all lowercase. Some of these are a little difficult to, to fix. But if we carry down a bit further, we're probably going to find some that are going to be reasonably easy to fix. And just keep going down until eventually, ah, there we got the curly brackets, not online by itself. Well, space missing before, contents not indented by two spaces. Well, these are all fairly easy to fix. So let's go and fix these. So going back into the S32 Design Studio, and if I go and select the first file and format it using Control Shift F, we can see this is going to hopefully resolve quite a few violations. So as we can see, this is laying out the code slightly differently. So I can, I can also do this to the, the uh, header files as well. OK, so just two more files to do. Control Shift F. And once again, I need to check this build. So let's save what we've done and do a build. That builds. So now let's go back into Jenkins and let's start a third build. So once again, we just need to wait for this to complete. OK. There we can see that uh, that's made a, a big difference. We've really reduced the number of violations. And I could carry on in exactly the same way and correct more violations. And then eventually we'd end up with code that is compliant to the bar C 2018 standard.
So hopefully that's given you an idea of how we can perform code reviews in Jenkins using the Elderly Tool Suite. And if you'd like more information, then please don't hesitate to contact us at Elderly. Thank you.